Simplifying Expressions, Part 1. These problems are going to have no fractions in them. Whenever you simplify an expression, you want to do two major steps. First, you distribute to clear out the parentheses. Then, you combine the like terms. So let's look at the first problem. 3x plus 2 times parentheses x minus 4. Well, the 3x is just hanging out here by itself, so we're going to carry it down, 3x. And then we're going to clear the parentheses. The 2 distributes onto the x, take away 4, so we get plus 2x. And then 2 times 4 is 8, and we bring down the minus between them, so we get 2x minus 8 there. Now we're going to combine like terms. 3x plus 2x, add the coefficients of them, we get 5x. Bring down the minus 8, and we have our answer, 5x take away 8. Let's look at another one that has more minus signs. 2x take away 4 times parentheses x minus 6. On this one, I'm going to do sort of a shortcut method to deal with the minus signs. And it's a method that works pretty well for most students to keep track of the signs. And after that, I'll show you why it's okay to do that way and how you really do get the same answer. So we'll start off with the 2x just tags along. And then, as usual, we're going to clear parentheses and then combine like terms. So what I do for the clearing parentheses is I look at the signs first and figure out what's, what's the sign going to be, the operation here, plus or minus. Then I look at what times what. So first I look at a minus plus times a plus. I'm going to get a minus. So I put take away 4 times x, 4x. Go to the next one. I'm going to have minus minus. Well, that's going to give me a plus. 4 times 6, 24. Now I have 2x take away 4x. Those are like terms. 2 take away 4 is minus 2. x, bring down the 24 with the addition, and then we've got minus 2x plus, 4, plus 24 for our final answer. Now let's take a look at why that way of dealing with the signs is OK. Because there's another way you can do it out that shows a little more explicitly what's happening to the signs. But it's a bit cumbersome to do it out this way. So even though I want to show you how it works, I'd like you to get comfortable with doing it out the shortcut way. So we start with the original problem, 2x minus 4 times x take away 6. And what I'm going to do now is rewrite it so that if I have subtraction, I'm going to turn it into add the opposite. So add a negative, add a negative. All right, now I'm going to do bring down the 2x, add, minus 4 distributes onto the x, so I get minus 4x, and then bring down the add, minus 4 times minus 6 is positive 24. And then I have collect or combined like terms, so x's, I get 2 take away 4, so I get minus 2x plus 24. All right, so you see you get the exact same answer doing it both ways. But the thing I want you to look at is right here, 2x plus a negative 4x, and 2x take away 4x. All right, those are equivalent ways of writing the exact same thing. Um, so even though this one is a subtraction, it's really the same as add the opposite. And most students find that they get very comfortable treating the signs in a shortcut method like this, and you get to the answer a little bit quicker than doing it this way. But what I would say is if you have trouble doing problems with the minus signs, so let's write another one down here, you might want to write it out the long way at first until you get pretty comfortable with it. So let's say we had uh, 5 plus 3 times x minus 2 or something like that. So as soon as you have a subtraction, turn it into add the opposite right away. And then you're going to do 5 plus distribute 3x plus 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And then you're going to want to convert it back into the other way of writing it. So I have 5 plus 3x. Adding the opposite would be, or adding a negative 6 is the same as subtracting a positive 6. So get comfortable with that transition right there, because that's the way final answers are going to be shown. And then we want to do combining like terms, so I get 5 take away 6. 
So 5 take away 6 is take away 1. So that would be my final answer on that one. Okay, but I do want you to be comfortable with the shortcut method, so let's do another one with even more minus signs. And I'm going to do this one out with the shortcut method. I'm not going to turn everything into add the opposite. If I was going to do that, I would put add a negative here, add a negative here. But let's do it the other way. So first of all, minus 2 distributes. So I have minus times a plus is negative. 2 times 6y, 12y. Minus times plus is negative. 2 times 5, 10. Go on to the next one. Minus sign distributes. Minus times positive, negative, 2y. Minus times positive, negative, 3. And then the minus 3y three three plus 8 just carries along. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have to identify same variables with same powers. So those three right there are like terms. And these numbers are also like terms. So first let's go after the variables. We've got minus 12y, minus 2y, minus 3. So what I want to do is add their coefficients. Minus 12, and then minus 2, and minus 3 are all getting added together. So it's minus 14, minus 17. Y. And then I've got the numbers. Minus 10, minus 3 is minus 13, plus 8 would be minus 5. So it's minus 17y, minus 5.